on video. Some warmth to that morning sun. That feels good. Might be a good day. Ooh. Some Baileys in the coffee this morning. Ah, it tastes good. I don't know if I deserve that. We are stuck in a holding pattern. They are talking about rain tomorrow. A warm rain. Hopefully it kills all the snow. What is this that I feel? They are just about done that barrel already. Today's been a productive day. What can I say? Uh, we turned the corner. We shall see. We are on the start of the next round. We are housekeeping. And we are figuring out whereabouts we are at. It feels good to be back into the bees. Who are you talking to? Talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's my oldest daughter coming out to help. Being trained to be a nurse, but on. Uh, working in the bees. No, she's not working with the bees anymore, except for today. Keep These guys could probably get two patties. Do you have any more? Uh, that box there, yeah. What box? Right behind you. We have some patties with us. Ooh, that looks good too. How many frames of bees in here? Um, Probably four. So yeah, those those ones will only get one, and then the scraps. Make sure they're all patties. Got to be right over the bees. What do you do with the uh, wax on here? The wax will render down. <laughs> So I'm just trying to plan ahead on what we are going to do and we're going to be seeing a lot of smaller ones which we're going to have to then take the bigger ones to boost just to bring everything together so that's going to be my strategy again this year which presents a bit of a problem so last year I used my battery, dropped it into my operation to fill in all the dead spots, to hold my own, and then we followed through with a, a pretty good honey crop. But by doing that, I didn't buy any bees, or we didn't have enough bees to build that battery again, and I didn't buy any bees in to replace that battery, hoping this spring we'd be able to just drift into it and maybe accelerate through a good spring and kind of pick up where I left off but that wasn't in the cards we went through another tough spring and it's dragged down these bees enough that I'm not going to have that surplus of bees to be able to build that battery of nukes that I rely on every year so what I'm going to have to do is replenish that battery and I'm going to do that by buying bees in probably some packages and making a deal with somebody and we're going to be bringing in packages to replenish my battery and probably fill in some of the dead spots in, within the operation just to kind of bring things back up to where it was. The other problem is, because I didn't have that battery coming through winter to be able to drop into my operation this year to refresh the queens, 
I'm gonna have a lot of old queen stock going into this next winter and I can't let that happen. So we're gonna do two things to figure that situation out. One is I'm gonna have Carrie pretty much full-time making queens and cycle these queens throughout my colonies all through summer. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we gotta cycle out those old queens to make sure we have the youth going into winter. And we're probably gonna to have to buy in queens too. So I'll probably order some queens in later in summer, midsummer to late summer, and just cycle them in. Replenish the stock, replenish that youth within my stock, and take a step out of these cold goddamn springs. Hanging on to what we have. Uh, and I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet to, you know, help take that step out. I don't really want to because what we've been doing is been building, you know, everything that I want to see within these bees. But Mother Nature has different ideas for me, I guess, putting a little bit more pressure on the operation. So I'm just gonna have to compromise, buy in some bees, fill in those dead spots, and get on with business next year. But that sound is refreshing. Will you listen to that? Absolutely beautiful. Let's take another look at the colony here. So this is the reason why we put all this back work into these hives to protect the ones that are gonna pull us through this one is a six framer from the bottom. We come through with patties last week and nicely working on the two fresh ones we give them. The two we'd had given them right off the start are pretty much done. So that's a good sign. So I just want to go down and take a look. Absolutely beautiful. We have cap brood. We have larvae stretching right out and eggs. Second frame of brood, just a masterful little nest here. Look at this brood frame carry. building this on supplement this is pretty good she's followed through with eggs down here look at a brood nest they hung on to that through the cold and they're filling in with larvae and eggs all the way down a little six framer so we're not going to steal from nests like this yet we're going to let this emerge replenish and then grow and then we'll capture the growth later to boost some of these smaller viable units. I'm not gonna fault the colonies too much right now because we've had some tough weather conditions. We'll let them get going, get established and then fault them later. Nice little brood nest here. This will emerge next week. And this side is right full of eggs and larm is just getting going there. Still haven't found her. Side right full of eggs. Must be close. 
masterful brood nest. So they didn't let any of that go through the cold weather. Making use of their real estate, and then they have this all circled with larvae. I only counted this six underneath, it must have been bigger than that. We have another frame of brood here. Packed full of brood. Eggs right to the bottom. So they're looking forward to this nice weather. An old nest here emerging and then being followed up by eggs, larvae. Still haven't seen her. Another frame of brood coming. No wonder they ate two patties. Pollen. An older brood nest there. Not as many eggs. Masterful brood nest on here. Look at that brood nest. The dynamite queen. Circle the brood, and then they don't have much space. They're storing syrup here, so that's good. The, the nest is wet. Throwing wax at me. Oh. Nothing wrong with that nest. <laughs> so we'll just keep counting those ones up. And that's pretty much what we're seeing. We're seeing big ones, very well developed. Medium ones that are just holding their own. And then smaller ones that just didn't have enough and, you know, they need a bit of a boost to move ahead. So I'll be showing a little bit more, more consideration than I typically do this time of year. And just give them time. And then after this next round, we'll go through with a pretty critical eye and start calling out all the, the smaller failed type units. And that's just the year we're going to be running here. We're going to use some of these packages we're going to buy in to take the pressure off and to rebuild that battery that I need to get into the following years here. <laughs>